The granddaddy of the heavy transport aircraft is the AN-225. This pride of the Anatov Design Bureau in Kiev made its maiden flight in December of 1988. The familiar front visor door arrangement swings up to accommodate oversized loads. The front landing gear can be lowered with mechanical jack screws to minimize the angle of the drive-on, drive-off ramp, allowing rapid cargo loading with conventional vehicles. The spacious flight deck is essentially conventional and unchanged from the AN-124. The addition of the extra two throttle levers on the center console, however, appears to defy one-handed power adjustments. The comprehensive flight engineer station is located traditionally on the starboard side of the aircraft, directly behind the co-pilot. The navigator station, however, appears modest compared to the formidable instrumentation elsewhere on the flight deck. This space shuttle mounted atop the AN-225 looks strangely familiar. One of the major roles designated for the 225 is transportation of the Soviet space shuttle, booster rockets and external fuel tanks. You may have seen the huge C-5 Galaxy become airborne at its maximum takeoff weight of 769,000 pounds. The AN-225 makes the C-5 look puny with a maximum takeoff weight of 1,322,770 pounds or over 590 tons. The AN-225, seen here above Snowbird number 7, is derived from the AN-124 with an extended center section and fuselage. Two additional Loratev D-18T turbofans are mounted on this extended center section for a total thrust over 300,000 pounds. The wings outboard of this extended center section are identical to the AN-124. A touch-and-go squeaked on at the threshold and screaming skywards at show center dwarfs the entire flight line at Abbotsford. The massive landing gear consists of two nose and 14 main gear bogies for a total of 32 wheels. The ground handling is enhanced by castering the two front and rear bogie assemblies in opposite directions for tight turns. Truly one of the world's great aircraft, the Anatov AN-225 Mriel.